Hi everyone, how are you guys doing today? Hope everybody's doing all right. I'm staying safe at home as always. Uh, today we're gonna be making uh, mac and cheese. Delicious, phenomenal mac and cheese. Who doesn't like a good mac and cheese? However, not our traditional uh, out of the box craft mac and cheese. We're gonna make it from scratch. Uh, I already have the pasta boiling, so that should be ready within just a few seconds. Um, the pasta, the pasta that I use is this one. I personally like it because uh, I love how the cheese kind of like stays in the creases. And I love the fact that it has a little bit of extra protein compared to regular uh, pasta. Um, as always, add some hot water. Uh, add some salt to the hot water. Uh, you want to make sure your pasta has some sort of flavor. Uh, no matter, even if you mix it with something, you want it to adapt the, the pasta itself to taste like something. Always, any, like I always tell you, every anytime you boil something, add some salt to it. So our pasta is ready. I'm going to be getting this out of here in a second. Right back in a second. So that's it. I drain my pasta. Pasta is ready. It's a very simple. It's a very simple recipe. Literally, all you need is three ingredients. You need the pasta. You need this Velveeta cubes, and some heavy cream. This is what the box looks like. You can find this in any supermarket. It's incredible. It's, and it, I like it because it already comes all cut up so you don't have to make a mess with the cheese. With two of them, it's plenty. Uh, I used about half a box of, um, of the pasta. That's plenty for, for us. I'm cooking for about four, four people. And some heavy cream. Just the heavy cream that's the last ingredient you need so once the pasta is drained i uh, just want to put it back in the pot add about two cups of heavy cream okay and then just let it simmer put it like like a mid heat and let that simmer we're going to open these up and just throw them in there one and we'll grab the second one this and this gets cooked very very quickly I think with within less than 10 minutes is done it's a little messy at the end but it's so worth it it's really really delicious in comparison to buying the little craft one I don't like it I'd rather take the time and do this As always, yeah, with everything that you make, so much more enjoyable, just because you make it yourself. Right, so, now at this point, all we do is mix up our mac and cheese, so I'm gonna just stir it, grab the cheese, kind of spread it around. Let me show you guys. what it looks like now you want to do is kind of like cut up the cheese and move it around you're gonna do this for about um like i said until it'll take about 10 minutes more or less give or take a little bit more a little bit less but uh within that time you should just move this around and just wait until the cheese melts and your mac and cheese will be ready. Um, I'll give you guys a few minutes and I'll, I'll show you guys what it looks like soon. Hello again, welcome back. So at this point, mac and cheese is ready. Let me show you guys what it looks like. You guys, let me stir it a second ago. So nice and gooey, that's what you want. Let me 
go ahead and show you guys. What it looks like. Cheese is done and it's ready to be eaten. Obviously, it's a little warm, but let's give it a try. Mm. As good as ever. If you guys have any questions, by all means, you're more than welcome to ask me. Subscribe to my channel, please. Tell everybody that you can. And thank you so much, you guys. Be safe, all right? Hope you enjoyed the recipe. Take care.